what's up lovers how are you doing today today i am making a very important video as i say often but it's because i've been receiving a lot of emails about this subject and i don't think i've ever covered it so i'm gonna talk to you about what it means when a bitch wanna say i need a break you guys are like, well, she said that. And you guys are panicking. You don't really know what it means. And you don't really know what to do. So today I'm going to give you four tips on what to do when the bitch tells you, I need a break. All right. So first off, I need to explain what it means. When a girl is saying, I need a break, it's either she doesn't love you no more. She fell out of love. I'm sorry. Bad news. Uh, maybe you did something, you know, you cheated, you lied, you did some dumb shit. Maybe you're too clingy. You're just like after her and then you end up not even adding your own life because it's your whole life revolves around her. Then you just like smother her and like she's like, I can't breathe. Yes, you don't want her to feel like that and maybe she feels like that. So she's like, we need some time apart. We need a break. Or another explanation could just be, you know, the bitch doesn't like herself. She doesn't love herself, so she cannot love you. And I've said that in uh, previous videos, but yeah. Sometimes it's not you. It's really not you. You know, I know people hit you with the, it's not you, it's me. But sometimes it really be them bitches. You do everything they need and you, you're not too clingy. You let her live her life. You're supportive. You do all the shit she needs. And the bitch is still like, no, I need a break. Yes, she doesn't love herself and she doesn't think like she's worth receiving all the love you're giving her. So you need to relax. When the bitch says, I need a break, you need to relax. The mistake that most men make is that, you know, you love the girl, you're attached to her, you really like her, whatever, and initially you wanna be like, no, but please don't do this to me. You're fucking begging. The fuck? Why are you fucking begging? And um, also, I mean, but again, I understand. It's like you become a little emotional, you're really attached to her, you like her, and you're trying to convince her. That's what human nature wanna do. When we're not ready to let something go or take a break or whatever, we're like, no, please don't do this. I'm a good, I'm a be better, I'm a do this, you know, a bunch of shit. But no, convincing only lasts for a little bit. You're gonna convince her maybe this time and then she's gonna come back and be like, no, you know, mm -mm, it's, we still need a break, it's not working out. Never become emotional and never beg. And you know, I don't wanna sound insensitive, like shit be hard, like don't get me wrong, but I understand you might be angry, you might be sad, you might be like super emotional and uh, that's normal, but you cannot show all of this. So here is what you fucking do. Number one, often we think like, how could they do this to me? How this and that, you know, you need to start looking at the situation in another point of view. She's not doing this to you. This situation is happening for you, for you. Because again, if the bitch don't love herself and she cannot uh, receive all the love you're giving her, do you wanna be with a bitch like that? Do you wanna be with a bitch that don't know her self-worth, that don't know that she's amazing or whatever, or maybe she's not even amazing, who knows? But you know, you don't wanna be with somebody like that. So is it bad that the bitch wanna take a break? I don't think so, because I don't think you should be with her if she's not fully ready to love herself. I'm saying you might want to have some compassion. Let's have some compassion today. So maybe she's really going through something and she's like, I can't. Or maybe you fucked up, you know, so she's like, I can't put myself to that. We need to take a break. What you need to do is that you need to switch this uh, victim mentality to like, yo, it didn't happen to me. Shit happened for me. Maybe you do need that break for you to go and get better and grow. You know, you need to take that time. Like I said, do not try to convince her. Be like, okay, I'm not saying you gotta be like, okay, I'm so happy, you know, I'm not saying that. But yeah, say, okay, all right, I hear you, you need that time, take take the time. You don't gotta be petty and be like, I don't know, because sometimes petty is like what we wanna be like, fuck you, bitch, you know? But uh, if you really wanna still be with her, that's, that's what I should say. If you still wanna be with her, have some compassion. Maybe she's going through something and she needs a break, like she for real needs a break. So while she's on the break, you go and you get better. You go find some hobbies. You go find some new friends. You go and you live your fucking life because maybe at some point you kind of lost your identity. You know, you were so wrapped up into her and you lost your identity. So now you go out in the world and discover again because you forgot that there's a whole world besides her. So you go do that and then you're going to start growing. You're going to start improving. You're going to be on your purpose. And then watch. 
she's gonna be like first of all she's gonna be like oh he's not really missing me it's he's okay and second of all she's gonna be like and them is even better than when i left them a woman wants a come up so she's gonna want you back because she's gonna be like oh wow he's better now i want him she's a, she's not gonna want to miss out on a good dude so she so she will be fucking back number two do not contact the bitch she i shouldn't call her a bitch because she's your girlfriend and you still like her but you do not contact her what she said she said the sun is in my face she didn't say that but she said that she needs some time or some space what you do you fucking give her the space so there is no texting no calling no emailing i've received email before uh long fucking letters um no dms no nothing you do not contact her you do not contact her friend to see hey is she doing okay we don't give a fuck take it back i'm not saying you don't give a fuck because you like her so we do care but you do not contact her because that's what she asked you to do and she needs space so give her the space and i know a bunch of you guys are gonna be like well but she's gonna forget about me if the bitch forgets about you when she's telling you she needs a break she's not the woman for you obviously she didn't want a fucking break because she just wanted to break up and said a break but if she really means break give her the time don't go in her space don't show up at her house i forgot that one do not fucking show up at her house she wants a break give her that fucking break and watch you're gonna make her starting to miss you then she's gonna be on your fucking social media checking for you and she's gonna be like oh no i miss him i miss him you know she's not gonna look at you and think like oh damn he's not contacting me or anything only the, the people who are lying to themselves that don't really want the break that want a breakup are gonna be like oh good and they're gonna forget about you but a girl that really wants a break because i don't know for whatever reason she is not going out there to forget about you she's taking that time to think about herself think about what she needs to do think about if she can forgive you if you fucked up like she's like doing some work on herself not saying she's not gonna be at the club or she's not gonna see her friends or go out think about other things at times you know but yeah she is not going to forget about you but do not contact her number three understand your own boundaries so what you need to do is like you need to fucking sit down and decide what's allowed and what's not allowed because again the bitch who really wants a break she's gonna be back when she sees that you're doing better that you're not really worried about her that you're having fun with your friends and that you're actually giving her the time to miss you she needs to realize that when she comes back around, there's some stuff that's not gonna fly. Like there's, I don't know. Me, I'd be like, bitch, that was your last. There's no more, let's take a break. Like the next break you need, it's a fucking breakup. It's a, a whole, a full one, you know? So you just gotta make sure that when she comes back around, you have these sets of rules, I would say, that you're not gonna allow her to cross because at this point she needs to see that her coming back is you're kind of like doing her a favor when she's coming back to you because she fucked up especially if she needed the break because she was the problem or she had something she needed to fix when she comes back around if you allow that you need to let her know your bitch this is gonna fly this is not gonna fly this and this and like never let her cross those boundaries ever again okay and then number four get back the fucking control you're the fucking man you want to control this relationship and uh that's just your job you want to get back control so again so in this one it's pretty much you don't need to do nothing at this point because you did the whole work before you didn't contact her you got yourself better you posted it on instagram or whatever she sees that you're getting better watch how you're gonna get back control is like she's gonna see all this shit and she's gonna be like what, what is he doing why he's not calling me why this why is that then she's talking your instagram then she's gonna feel like this sense of like mystery you know i tell you bitches love fucking mystery so she's gonna start feeling like yo what what's going on what is he doing i want to know am i missing out on something and then watch once you get her mind back to that you're in full fucking control and then, like I said earlier, when she comes back, you give her this set of rules. Because, bitch, this time you're going to follow all this shit. Yes, 
because you are the fucking man and you were awesome you know i feel like when you didn't do much like it wasn't really your fault and she had some something she needed to work on it's like i understand it might be difficult for you to deal with and you still want to be with the bitch or whatever it's up to you to teach her how to treat you you know we teach people how to treat us so at this point she needs to realize that it was the first and the last time she's gonna do that dumb shit and that uh it's not gonna fly no more but watch that that was the biggest thing really the the main thing if you want to have something out of this that all this shit i've been talking about is when she wants to break do not beg and give her the space don't hit her up don't do nothing and go be better and then when she comes back falling Baby, please, I made a mistake. I still want to be with you. And she says she want to... I don't know why I, I picture you talking like that. Because I think I picture you talking like that because I see you kind of like thinking you're begging and you're reaching out and all this shit. And I'm like, stop reaching out. Stop, stop. Give me your fucking phone. So yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. You can like, subscribe, share, and you can also follow me on Instagram at MelliLoveXO and at MelliMonaco. All right, lovers, I will talk to you soon, soon. As soon as tomorrow, tomorrow.